So, uh, you can go ahead whenever you're ready, and I might move the camera around a little bit while we're filming. But... Right. So I'll talk to you. Is that what I should do? Uh, or talk to the camera? Let's see how it looks. Like me talking to you or to the camera? Why don't I sit here and then you can talk to me? Okay. Um, there are lots of good reasons to be supporting Dave's house. Uh, it's the right thing to do. Um, starts with the right thing for me to do. Uh, there's a good biblical imperative uh, in Matthew that talks about uh, when were you in prison. And of course, uh, um, it's when you do it for the least of these. So that's, that's a good place to start. Um, it's also a good thing to do because it's the right thing to do for the person. Uh, being able to have a, a fresh start, uh, being able to have a, a set of supportive folks around you as you're entering a new life, it's an important, important part of their, uh, of their transition. It's the right thing to do from a society standpoint. Uh, we need to be able to have people contributing to our society in a positive way. Um, and it's the right thing to do from a treasury standpoint. It, it, it certainly reduces cost if we don't have people going back to prison. So lots of reasons for us to support uh, a Dave's House kind of project. Dave Moore was a very special kind of guy. Uh, he had a, a tumultuous life. When I saw Dave for the second time in my life or the second time, second period of time in my life after he was released from prison. I was amazed to hear his story of what had happened since he had last, last uh, been at uh, Camp Manitoulin and all the good work he had done and obviously the, the, uh, the difficulties he had gotten into and the idea of spending time in prison the idea of, of uh, wanting to make good use of that time in prison uh, was typical of Dave. Being able to make the best of, of difficult search, uh, circumstances was part of his character. I think the most important thing to remember about Dave is that he cared, cared deeply about uh, the men, and I, this is about men, uh, for, this, uh, for this project. Uh, the men who would be coming out, who he knew were good souls, and he wanted to be able to make sure that they had a chance to make it in life outside the prison walls. What else can I say? Bruce mentioned that you might want to talk about um, why why you want to be involved in this program and why you're the, why you're putting your support behind this program. And he also mentioned uh, that you might want to talk about your relationship with Dave, which you've done already, so that was that's good. And really anything that you would like to talk about okay. yeah. regarding the Dave's yeah. house. When I first met Dave Moore, we called him Tex, and uh, he had on a, a Western hat, and he taught me uh, what it was to be a good rider. And I had to teach this, the, uh, the kids in that camp um, those skills so that they could be good riders, and I did that day in, day out, and we worked hard together for that period of time of the summer. And the next year he wasn't there and I needed to take over at age 15, 16, uh, a program with uh, twice as many horses. We had 12 horses that second year. And it was uh, based on his good grounding that I was able to uh, take that next step of, of leadership. And it's uh, based on that uh, gift that he gave me that I want to make sure that this Dave's house succeeds and that it works and that it works well. Okay. Um. <clears throat>
Well, we've got we've got a lot of really good things in there. If if you feel like uh, you've said all you want to say, I think that we can easily get a good minute out of there. But if you'd like to talk more, <laughs> I've got plenty of film left on this. Uh, yeah, let me think here. Um, it, we've probably got enough for what we got, for what we need to do. Um, let me take a slightly different angle at it. Okay. Dave Moore, we know him as Tex. I was his assistant, uh, and he put me on a horse, turned out to be Beauty. Asked me to take her down to get a, a drink down at the lake. About halfway down, Beauty decided that she wanted to go where someplace I didn't want to go and the speed I didn't want to go. I learned how to hang on. I learned how to bob and weave through the trees. And I learned that uh, Dave Moore's style of teaching was uh, throw you into the water and let you see if you can do it well. That was a good lesson. I want to make sure that uh, when we have the opportunity to help people that he wanted to help coming out of prison, that we've got a place where they don't have to be quite so uh, throwing into the, into the cold water, perhaps, but are supported and are able to be able to make it because he wanted them to be able to make it. Okay. Close enough? That was really good. I like that a lot. <laughs>